Deanna Dwyer, K.R. Dwyer, neither one, because this was, who are you? Huh? Somebody wrote their name in here. Who are you? It looks like Angeline Rally Bradley. Huh. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another retro book review. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of catching up on my Dean Koontz reviews, going back and checking all of the reviews I have. Um, these videos might be a little more vague than other Dean Koontz or other book reviews because I don't remember a whole hell of a lot about Dean Koontz's early stuff, even though I just read it last year. The reasoning for that is pretty much just all blends together. They're all really generic thrillers. Uh, he does have books that I know of that stand out. He doesn't have any characters that stand out to this day. I've read his entire catalog up to Ashley Bell, and then I finally stopped. Um, but to, to this day, I can't remember a single character name except for Odd Thomas. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to move on. Today we are talking about Shattered, one of uh, Dean Koontz's earliest novels. He published it under the pen name K.R. Dwyer. Uh, D-W-Y-E-R. The Dwyer name is actually used twice by Dean Koontz. Uh, there's another one. I think he does like gothic horror or maybe a, a, it could even be erotica. I'm looking over my computer screen. Uh, it's If you look up Deanna Dwyer, uh, it looks more like a gothic kind of deal, but it might also be erotica because I know he wrote erotica and he just wrote fuck books. I mean, he wrote books that were, the whole point was porn. Um, so I know he did that, and I know he did um, erotica, which is more of a romance kind of thing, you know, making love instead of fucking. Uh, but under the K.R. Dwyer name, he wrote this. Interestingly enough, uh, it seems like his wife wrote the uh, erotica with him. Glenda is her name. But as far as Shattered is concerned, Shattered is one of Dean Koontz's better books. Um, it's not a great book, uh, but it does not overstay its welcome. In fact, if, mo if more of Dean Koontz's books were this length, it would be perfect. That's one of the things that, um, that some Richard Lehman books have going for them. They don't overstay their welcome. Uh, later on in his career, Richard Lehman wrote much, much longer books. And I bring up Lehman because these two guys were friends. Uh, they started out roughly about the same time. Um, and Dean Koontz did several blurbs for Richard Lehman, and he always called him Dick in, like, the afterwards, introductions, whatever he wrote for him. Um, but the, their early careers mimicked each other quite a bit. There was a lot of rape, um, a lot of senseless violence, a lot of, a lot of that stuff. But, uh, anywho, so what is Shattered about? Shattered is about a, a man driving across country with, I believe, his little brother. They are going out to find... Uh, their, well, his wife has flown out already to to their new house, and him and his little brother are driving across country. At some point in time, they start being the, they start being followed by a van, um, and there's a psychopath in the van. And I remember it all being very basic, it all feeling very generic until I got the backstory for the villain. That was actually interesting, and there is some pretty good suspense in this book. <laughs> and at the end of the book, I, I was reading over my review for the book, and uh, the, the very last thing I said was, uh, Dean Koontz nails the ending, <laughs> which, is, which is kind of funny because I remember the ending and why that was funny to me when I wrote the, uh, when I wrote the written review. But if you guys want to read that, check down there in the doobly-doo. Um, I'm going to continue on. Like I said, I like this book a lot. Um, right now, I can't remember if I gave it three or four stars. But I'm going to say I gave it three. Uh, it might have been four. Uh, we'll see. But as we go on you, with this series, you are going to, you're going to hear a lot of hate from me. You're going to hear a lot of positivity from me when we get to the really good books. Um, please know that I don't have anything against Dean Koontz. In fact, one of the reasons why I decided to do this review is because I've been getting so many comments about that I'm, j I'm just a hater. That uh, Dean Koontz has built this career and not many other authors have built a career like it, which is bullshit. I mean, you got your James Pattersons of the world, your Dan Browns, terrible writers who make a great living. Um, famous, famous people. Famous people who make a damn good living writing basic stuff. 
Um, and there's nothing wrong with writing basic stuff, if, or reading basic stuff. If you like doing that, that's fine. I don't. It's just a difference of opinion. But anyways, if you have anything nice to say, leave it down there, even if you're disagreeing with me. Um, leave it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! You know, there's, there's parts of this book I remember visually. Um, I remember seeing so damn well in my head. Um, but I can't remember a single thing that happens while they're on the road. The scene at the end of the book in the in the kitchen when he used the nail gun, that was great. Um, I really appreciated that. Uh, but as far as the rest of the book, it just kind of really speeds along. This is super, super short. It's like 200, what, 200 and, uh, yeah, 215 pages. It is decent sized font for 215 pages. But I just feel like if Dean Koontz wrote more books this length, that he would have been even more famous than he actually is. Um, I think I'm going to talk about his his hatred for movies in the next one. I might do uh, Watchers, because I know he had several run-ins with uh, with Hollywood that really put him off of Hollywood. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested in doing that. But uh, I hope this video, I mean, I don't think a video with a positive review will get hate, but you never know. Uh, it might even be a whole slew of people out there that end up going, oh my god, this book sucks all the balls. And then, you know, what are you supposed to do? I guess we just let it suck balls. <laughs>